Hi, this is Amir Anzor from uh, AmirAnzor.com, and this blog post is called How I Became Freaking Happy. And uh, you might be thinking, oh my God, he must have made a lot of money or found the woman of his dreams or, you know, something amazing happened to him. But the fact is, right now, I'm probably in more debt than uh, most of you. I bought two properties in Dubai last year, all in credit, and uh, at the peak, whatever. And also, I've invested in many businesses right now that are not making money. Most of them are not, actually. Actually, all of them are not, uh, truth be told. Uh, I'm working in a corporate job. I'm single. In fact, I just got dissed by someone. Sniff. Um, but anyway, so, but I can honestly tell you right now, I'm freaking happy and one of the, um, you know, best points of my life. And why is that? You might be asking. And uh, the truth is you, you choose your happiness. You know, it's not, it's not external to the world. It's not about, um, what's in your bank account or if you're in a super relationship or, uh, all these external factors and you know I used to always think that I was always chasing either money or even women uh, or you know other stuff uh, which I thought would bring me the uh, the happiness you know and I found that you know once I achieved something it gave me that brief moment of happiness where I was like wow I got it you know I closed the, the deal I got a promotion I got a bonus or um, I got it with someone um, but then you know it went away you know and so then it was always like looking for the next thing and the next thing and the next thing but now what I've learned is you know once I learned like you know I do a lot of as I said personal development stuff once I learned that actually it's it's within internal this happiness stuff um, it made a big difference and I've been reading about it and learning about it for a long time I thought like no that's that's BS you know but it's true I can tell you honestly I have uh, I'm broke I'm uh, single I'm 32 I'm uh, all these things that you, you know that would um, for whatever reason some people would be like oh, um, you know would be depressed if they're me on the other hand some people would be over the moon if they were me because they'd be like, man, you got an amazing life. You got a nice apartment. You got a car. You got, a, you know, time on your hands, whatever. And the fact is any life you can, um, you can, you can look at it certain ways. You know, there's so many things I can tell you about my life that you're like, man, if I was you, I'd, I'd seriously take some value some, uh, whatever those pills are called, uh, you know, the antidepressants. And then there's other parts of my life that you'd be like, man, you live an amazing life. I mean, I'm so envious of the life you live. And it's just the way you look at it, you know. And the truth is, when I was been, I've, I've had times in my life where I, I should have been over the moon and love with everything that I was doing um, and the way life was going. But I was miserable, you know. I was, I was just freaking miserable um, going, oh, man, this is not what I want. And I think there's a lot of things that have helped me get to a place where now, you know, it's not the external world which is really controlling how I'm feeling. Yeah, you know, I, I get some bad news, I'll feel down, but I'll feel down for a day or two days or a week max or, you know, I'll, and I'll be aware of the fact that this event is impacting my emotions and, you know, I, I consciously think of those things. Whereas before, I would just feel bad and I wouldn't know why. So, once you learn, like, you know, you can be freaking happy too. How? By just choosing to be happy, you know, just looking at your life right now and uh, find what's good, good in it because there's so many good things that are happening to you, but you might be just focusing on the, the downside. Oh, I haven't found the love of my dreams and, uh, you know, my, I'm overworked and underpaid and whatever, whatever, whatever. And, uh, you know, you can't, I don't think you can live like that. You gotta, you, you have to find what's right. And, uh, I think the other thing that's helped is, you know, I found something that was bigger than myself that wasn't like, oh, when I make so much money and I do this for me, but, you know, I have some, 
sort of contribution to the world. Uh, that really helps. Um, so yeah, that's it. You can choose to be frickin' happy if you, if you want. I, no matter what you tell me, I'm telling you, okay, here's another thing that I read or heard somewhere. Who do you think is uh, happier? Two years, uh, they did some survey, I can't remember which university, but it was like some survey where they, um, they saw the happiness levels of quadriplegics um, right before they had the accident of, you know, some really bad car accident where they lost their, their legs and stuff like that. Before, right before the accidents or before they lost their, their legs and also um, then two years after. And they also picked lottery winners, right? Two, uh, before they won the lottery and then two years afterwards, right? And who do you think was happier uh, two years after, you know, these major events happened to turn around these people's lives? Well, the answer is uh, they were both exactly the same. What they found is the quadriplegics that were at that, this happy level, happiness level, before they got into that uh, accident, uh, two years later, were at that level. The lottery winners, if they were at this level before the accident, two years later, they went back to that level. And it's that, I mean, you know, money is gonna give you short-term, quick impulse, happiness, so is anything else, even your health, you know? So you, you gotta just appreciate the good things in your life right now, uh, <laughs> because there are, you know, don't forget about the freaking economy or whatever, you know, like switch off the media for a bit, choose to be happy, and you will be. This is Amir from amirandor.com.